Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, let me call into session the 81st meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Welcome, everyone. Um, on behalf of NIH and NHGRI, uh, our thoughts are certainly with people in Houston who are cleaning up after one hurricane. Um, in addition, certainly our current uh, most acute thoughts are with people in Florida and others affected by the current hurricane. Um, NIH stands ready to help in any way that we can to ensure the health and well-being of the scientific enterprise in uh, those regions affected by this series of hurricanes. Um, I'm going to turn this over to Rudy uh, right now to deal with some of the immediate issues. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the uh, 81st meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research, the open session of that meeting. I want to remind everyone that we're webcasting live, and I want to welcome the uh, people that are viewing the council meeting remotely and remind you that there'll be an archive, a recording of the open session that's archived on the council webpage at uh, the NHGRI website. So I want to begin with some introductions, please. Uh, first, our uh, council liaisons. Uh, Dr. Mona Miller, Miller from the American Society of Human Genetics and the new executive director of ASHG, Mona. And Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us in person. Uh, the other liaison members are probably watching via the web. We have new staff uh, at NHGRI to introduce to the council. When I call your name, would you please stand so the council members can see you? Uh, let's begin with uh, Robert Rowley. Dr. Rowley received his MD degree from the University of Iowa. He is currently the Vice Chief of Staff at Spring Valley Hospital in Las Vegas, Nevada, where he also previously served as the Chief of, Chief of Medicine for four years. Prior to moving to Las Vegas, Rob was in the office of the U.S. Air Force Surgeon General at Bowling Air Force Base, where he held the title of Chief of Medical and Bioinformatics and Genomics. Rob is board certified in internal medicine, and he'll be working in the Division of Genomic Medicine, initially working on the Emerge and ClinGen projects. Welcome, Rob. Uh, Jennifer Krupp. Dr. Krupp received her medical degree from St. Louis University School of Medicine. She's the first recipient of the new NIH ACMG Fellowship in Genomic Medicine, Project Management. This is a two-year appointment, and Jennifer just arrived in September. So welcome aboard, Jennifer. Danielle Nikki Meadows. Dr. Meadows received her doctoral degree from McGill University. She is this year's ASHG NHGRI Genetics and Public Policy Fellow, and she began working at NHGRI in August. Now, Eric will have more to say about these uh, fellowship appointments in his uh, director's report. So this summer, we welcome on board a new crop or group of program analysts. These are individuals that have completed their undergraduate studies and are taking usually two to three years to work here at NHGRI before going on to seek their fame and fortune in grad school or uh, any of the health-related fields. So uh, Gabriel Botsley. Gabe comes to us from Rutgers University, where he earned an undergraduate degree in genetics with a minor in political science. Gabe's research experience was in the Rutgers Center for Vector Biology, where he studied molecular ecology. Gabe is working on the Undiagnosed Disease Network and the H3Africa initiatives. Thank you, Gabe. Michelle Cohen. Michelle is a recent graduate of the University of Rochester, where she earned a BA degree with a major in biology. Michelle has had a variety of laboratory research experiences, including conducting research on aphids, performing photomicroscopy for neurobiological studies, and working in a marine aquarium in San Pedro, California. Michelle will be working on the IGNITE project and the LINX Common Fund project. Robert Fulham. Robert also graduated from Rutgers University with a double major in genetics and computer science. Robert's undergraduate research project involved using ChIP-seq and RNA-seq data to examine the role of CDX2 transcription factor in tissue differentiation in the intestine. Robert is working on the ClinGen project and supporting grants in our informatics portfolio. Thank you, Robert. Michael Pagan. 
Michael is another graduate from the University of Rochester. He majored in neuroscience and minored in psychology and chemistry. His undergraduate research involved investigations of the genome of the Nasonia wasp. Michael is working on the ENCODE project. And Taylor Lynn Steffen. Taylor Lynn is a recent graduate of Oberlin College, where she earned a double major in biology and anthropology. Her thesis work combined genomic data and a literature review to address conflicting archaeological and morphological data on Homo neanderthal. Taylor Lynn is working on the genome sequencing project. Thank you, Taylor Lynn. I now seek your approval of the uh, May Council minutes. Are there any comments or corrections? from the council members. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the minutes? And a second. All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? The easiest vote you'll do all day. Thank you very much. I want to draw your attention to the meeting dates of the next six council meetings. They're on the agenda. Uh, please share them with your administrative assistants. And uh, if you discover any conflicts, please contact me and, more importantly, Comfort Brown. And I'm going to turn the meeting over to Eric for the director's report.